Okay, uh, welcome back to Studio B Productions. Uh, today we're gonna cut open a KN128 filter for a John Deere. Well, this is a John Deere replacement, so uh, places a John Deere filter on a X360. This filter was uh, put in, I think it was, uh, I don't know, 2000. So it's over, it was on, I definitely know it was on for two years and uh, I gone back to uh, regular filter because these are expensive, double the price. But uh, I left it on, so we're gonna cut it out with uh, this cut, uh, filter cutter and see what's inside, but I don't think it'll be too much. people this is the filter cutter oil filter cutter and I got it off of eBay speed store speedwaymotors.com uh, hopefully you can see it yep and there's a part number this is about uh, filter cutter is about uh, seven years old and the, the good thing about this filter you can put a wrench on it I think it's 5 8 but Probably get the pop wrench next time, but probably uh, rip it. See, a lot of people use uh, zip wheels, but then you come with the issue of uh, Kind of goes a wobbly on me. I'm gonna order a spare and just keep it as a spare filter. This uh, KNN filter. Snap the fucking thing. I gotta get some brake clean and uh, clean it up and get some better traction. Nothing but the good stuff. No more. The number of VOVs, whatever, all tall compounds, we dropped the 10%. This is the last of the good stuff.
Come on, I'm gonna do this. In the view. Not break it. Make it live. Make it live and make it memorable. Okay. Let's see how it is. Anti-drain valve because this filter's on the side. A bit of a rust on the back, on the bottom there. Maybe just sitting. Yep. Let me get a utility knife and we can cut. Okay, I'm on back after the Okay, let's get the Hey, right here, I uh, probably don't see anything. Probably isn't anything. Because you only got like this unit. It's only got probably only like a hundred hours, less than a hundred hours on it. Yeah, I don't see anything. You know what exposed? Maybe here. One. One or two specks on the edge. That could be from cutting it. But. Okay. I don't think there is anything here really dull. Like I said, you don't do this if you really suspect it, then uh, that's nothing there. That could be a just dirt off the... Uh, you probably do this. Now this is two years and a hundred hours, which is maximum service on the uh, 
Oh, I do see little specks. Is it worth it? Uh, Now this is what you do probably if, uh, especially if you got a new, new piece of equipment and you just want to check out how much maybe a spec there. Maybe a spec there. So, yeah, one or two specs. I don't think it's, it, this is a, it had around, what, uh, 330 hours on it. And it's a 2014, I think, engine. So, so I would say that's it. Uh, you know, uh, this is by worrying about the rust in the bottom, but uh, that may be who knows where that came from. That's why you tear them apart. And another thing is you don't let them sit too long. You would do this to the filter. If you get a piece, used piece of equipment, this is what you do. Tear the filter apart. You know, or maybe ask the technician to do that, see how bad it is. That's it. That way. Anyways, that's it. Uh, I guess I'll probably order another one of these. Keep it. Oh, thing is, if it's gonna do like this. You know, if it sits on here too long, without any oil in the bottom, that is kind of uh, suspect. But in the end, that's. If we were like this, that goes. I'm gonna go this. Oh, that's a bell, but yeah, I would. Uh, Oh, we kind of, that's really suspecting me, see rust on the bottom, especially for, uh, you know, that's why you probably want to buy, that's why you probably want to buy one of these, <laughs> to make sure your filters are not turning rusty. Uh, well, all I do is pop out the uh, uh, John Deere one, which I have in the tractor. This one actually, uh, they said, is made in India. Or Thailand. I think it was Thailand when I... Got to say somewhere. Anyway, let's cut it off, but... I don't know. Probably just to keep one spare that what I do what I do on these filters is at the end of the year in January February the uh, John Deere has a sale and they discount the filters and oil and everything for uh, for you know for a couple months so I I have one on spare one spare sitting in my uh, tool case and I got 
So when I buy the new one, that one goes as a spare. And the old one goes back in there, as well as the old oil. I have a system that says do not use first the oil system, and uh, yeah, it, uh, it uh, does it that way. But uh, uh, you know, to mark out the oil you use first before you open up a new can. So oil is pretty good. They, they say oil is good until you open the, uh, the can itself and expose it to air. Once it's that, it needs to be used up within here. With, so I mark use first, and nobody's grabbing a full can of oil before uh, use up the old one. But uh, that's this is troubling. I don't know what this. Uh, on the the Generac ones were made in India. Okay, this one I think was made in Thailand. These are, this has been sitting for two years in the vehicle, and it's resting on the bottom. So, I don't know what to do. I'll buy another one, check that one out. Uh, I think I pulled the other one out. This is the first one I, but the other one I used within a year, I used it. Didn't sit for a year. I didn't sit for two years, I didn't sit for two years, I used it for one. So, uh, I will uh, have to, uh, I guess I'll stick with John Deere or whatever is sitting on the shelf. But uh, this is troubling for uh, a very expensive filter. Uh, the only reason I bought it was this and uh, well, I had a set of tires, but, you know, it is what it is. I oh, don't know, maybe, maybe it's just a fluke one. I'll pair it for the other John Deere filter next spring and see what it is, and, uh, there we go. Um, so, so, you know, you see, even K&N filters, performance filters are... That's a little strange rest. I don't know. This actually is, I guess, a spot weld on here. This is where the ring of spot weld is. Why would it rest? Yeah, see, that's why you, you have one of those. Okay. So it actually is resting on the spot weld on this filter. The spot weld, if you line up with the ones on this, so if you're not tearing apart these filters once in a while, you know, you would never know this. Okay. This is, like I said, I've been on a vehicle, been on my garden truck for two years, and that's probably a long time. So, but you can buy a cheaper filter. The only reason, like I said, I was getting angry and not having a way to take it off. But you're going to destroy the filter anyways, as long as you have a spare. And uh, so that would be it. There are one or two particles there, but. Uh, We'll see. As long as it's not really, thing, you know, as long as these are not really packed with rust and, and steel. Seeing one or two, that's probably normal, but uh, this, if anybody knows, mystery. Let me know. Read the comments below.